Right, so here we have an iPad Mini 2 that came in for repair. It's an expedited service, and customer said he damaged the digitizer FEC connector. And I do see a prior repair attempt with a missing pad. And look at this. And that's how the back looks like. It looks ugly. It looks ugly, and we do not know if there's anything else wrong with this iPad. First thing I want to do is clean up. And I do see a missing pad. I just want to look at the board diagram quick and see if this pin connects anywhere. Because if it does, we're going to have to jump or wire that pin from the back. We cannot do it from the front, and we do not have room to run any wires from the front. Any wire that we run is going to touch neighboring components and short out the circuit. So hopefully this pin is in no connect. And honestly, I believe pin number two and three are no connects. Okay, so it's a no connect. Blue represents no connect. Very nice. And for this one, we're going to heat up the board from the bottom. I've done it in a lot of videos where we heat up the board from the top. And it can be done that way. But since the board is out, we're going to heat up from the bottom. We do not have any components on the bottom. and we should be good. Look at the soldering. Better than factory. We're gonna check on those pins and make sure that they are making a proper connection. A good way to know if that pin is loose is when you push on that pin. If it wobbles from the top here, it means the pin is not making a good connection. Solid. The pins are all solid. Let's check this side. We need to clean that flux. And the job is done. We're going to reassemble and test. So I'll be back in a few minutes to finish the video. Okay, so touch is still not working on this iPad mini. I'm gonna go over it one more time with hot air, but I also noticed, let me show you, I also noticed the missing resistor on the right side. Right over here, we have a missing resistor. But I do not know if this resistor has anything to do with touch. I was looking up the schematic and that resistor is display sync. I do not know if that has anything to do with touch. But anyway, I'm going to reflow the connector. And we're going to add that resistor. And we'll give it another try. I just press down on that connector. Just to make sure that the connector is really making a good connection. 
but the connector was making a good connection before and there's no need to press it down because the connector will reflow down in place. We did check all the pins and everything was good. But if touch is not working, we have to do it that way just in case. We had a customer that came in today and brought in two hard drives. He said that both of them fell down and after they did, they stopped powering on and he cannot get information from them anymore. I mean, it's suspicious that both of them fell down and both of them, they're not powering on anymore. And it turns out that the customer opened up the hard drive to look at the plate on the inside and he tampered with the reading head and all that mechanical stuff. It's game over. I give it back to him. Now we're gonna grab that resistor from a donor board and I have one right over here. We're gonna use this as a donor device. And that resistor is the 1005 size SMD, the tiniest component on the board. The absolute smallest component on that motherboard. I mean, the slightest pressure on this component and it goes flying to ninth dimension. The slightest pressure. And that resistor made a connection. I just want to go over it one more time, quick. Without burning that connector, you see how it settled down in place? Okay, and let me just go over that connector from the top. Without burning that connector, we can see that solder liquefied on those pins. Okay. Let's wait until the board cools down a bit. We're gonna clean it with alcohol and reassemble and test again. I have another iPad mini that also needs an FEC connector replacement. Both of them came yesterday when we were working on the Xbox. One of them is expedited and the other one is not. But I thought why not just do them both because both of them have the same issue. And that's beautiful soldering. I mean, the slightest movement can really knock off a lot of components on this board. So it takes a lot of precision to work on this area of the board. And I always say practice is the mother of all skills. A hard job becomes an easy job when you are constantly doing that job. Now on this other iPad mini, I'm not gonna remove the board. We're gonna solder that connector from the top and not from the bottom. That way you get to see both, how it's done from the top and how it's done from the bottom. And it's possible to heat up the connector from the top without burning that connector. Let's go ahead and do it. But what I wanna do is cover up the battery connector and possibly the battery with aluminum tape. Aluminum reflects, bounces heat away and I use it for that purpose. So just rip off a piece. I mentioned this in the last video, you can purchase aluminum tape off our website. We have a large batch that came in last week. Okay, let's cover up this side here. So right now, as you can see, I have the left side covered up battery the battery connector and we're going to be working on replacing the connector on the right side here and we're going to do everything from the top because we had questions when we worked on that very same problem in the past people asking how come that fec connector does not burn out you have to know how much heat to apply and when to pull flux also helps so that connector does not burn and you have to have very steady hands because when solder liquefies on the board, if you're trying to remove that connector and your hand shakes, you're gonna knock off all those components. And good luck putting them back. When I'm talking as you, 
replacing that connector, I'm talking to techs. I'm not talking to the average DIY person because this is not a DIY job. We're gonna pull down on the connector, downwards and not upwards, just like that. And you see how that connector did not burn, but I do not really care if it did. Because right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply leaded solder and leaded solder takes less heat to liquefy. So we're gonna apply less heat onto the connector that we're gonna solder on. And that's how it's done. If you notice, this is the iPad Mini 1. We do not have those components on the right side, the resistors, the one that we changed on the other iPad. So this one does not come with those components. Okay, and that's it. Let's grab that connector. And those connectors can be purchased off our website as well. And flux can be purchased off our website and the tweezer that I'm using here, the mechanic tweezer, which I've been using for the past maybe six, seven months and, and it's still going, same tweezer. And I've dropped it so many times. Look at this, it's still precise. I could not say that for the $45 tweezer that I used to buy from Aram. Every month I have to buy one. And I came across this mechanic tweezer that I'm using. Wow, solid. Solid, very fine, long. It has weight to it, it feels good. And it's only $11, $12. I do not know how I used to pay $40 for a tweezer. I mean, it's all psychology. You think if you're paying more, you're gonna get a better product. Right now, what I wanna do is put airspeed down, maybe 50. I'm at 440 degrees right now. And I'm pointing hot air from far away. I'm slowly going down, very slow. Once I see solder starting to liquefy, I can move down closer, like now. And we have to watch out for that plastic. As soon as we see the plastic starting to change color a lot or deform, we have to pull out. I'm gonna add more flux and I'm gonna bump up airspeed. So now you can see the difference between reflowing from the bottom or doing it from the top. Air at full speed, 120. Okay, plastic is starting to slightly change color. And that's enough. job is done. Pins are solid. We hit two birds with one stone. We did two iPads and this one sitting. And the customer got expedited on this one and he did not pay for expedited, but that's the case for some customers. Like in this case, I was working on iPad mini and I thought, why not work on this one also? So we got this one yesterday and we're gonna invoice the customer today. 
and as soon as the customer pays, we package it and ship it back to him same day. That's it. We're going to reassemble and I'll be back. Big Boss is already done reassembling the first one and he did confirm that touch is working. And he has the second one to assemble and test. But the first one is working after the second attempt. And he did fix this one also. He did fix this one also, it's already done. And this one is already done. This one is already done. We have a graphics card here and a lot of them here that we need to fix and some on the bottom here and some on the bottom here and some on the bottom here and some here and a lot of them there so everything is organized based on what was worked on what we need to do what is in the queue what's expedited same thing goes here these are ready to ship out ready to ship out the new packages that came in today I mean, everything is all over the place right now because we are overwhelmed with the number of things that we need to get done. Expedited, expedited. So all the expedited stuff gets put on the bench here so I can finish them today. Expedited. Uh, we have an expedited phone here also. This motherboard, this PS4, this guy here, this one, this one. A couple of things on the bottom here this board and that's aside from the stuff that I have on the bench here it's overwhelming overwhelming but we have to keep working we can't stop and we have my dad here taking care of packaging orders fulfillment sending stuff back to customers Universal, universal. universal, which one? The laptop chargers. Yeah. Is that That's it. Yeah. And these are the aluminum tape that we have in stock now. We have the mechanic short killer here. We have this short killer also, a short injection tool. And we also have one other brand, which is this one here. And this is the black one. All three of them are posted on our site. And these are all the stuff that has been recycled or customers do not want. Like this video card here, this video card here, this one here, the one under, IMAX, laptop. Okay, so both tablets are functional. They are being priced right now. And that's it, the job is done. Touch is working. All right, and the second one. The second one. It's a little bit dim because we need to charge it, but touch is also working. Three, five. All right. So we're all good. The job is done on both tablets. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.